So you're thinking about getting a parrot because they seem so sweet, funny, and cute online. And even though they are all of those things, beware because they are also little dinosaurs and sometimes they act like it. They require a lot of attention, time, care, and patience. So check out this video to see what they are really like. <laughs> the channel my poodle and parrot pals Sandra and Mia here today so between dogs and parrots there is a lot of differences but the main difference that you need to know about is that dogs want to please their owners they will always work towards pleasing you and making sure that they're making you happy whereas birds want to be pleased and you have to make sure that you're making them happy Parrots actually share characteristics with dinosaurs who ruled millions of years ago on Earth. Dinosaurs have similar biological features as parrots. Yes, in some ways, having a parrot is like having an evolved dinosaur. So here's what it's really like to live with a descendant from dinosaurs. The first one is really cute. You will find surprise feathers everywhere, especially when they're molting and their tail feathers are always a nice treat because they are the biggest feathers. So expect surprise little presents of feathers all over your home. Another thing that you will find everywhere and anywhere unless you train them otherwise is poops. They will poop anywhere and everywhere whenever they need to. Birds do not hold their poops and it is also not good and not healthy to train them to do so, but you can train them to poop in certain areas so that you're not finding poops all over your desk, the couch, chairs, the floors, etc., etc., etc. I've trained Mia to poop in the shower when she's in the washroom so that I can just rinse it away. But if you find poops elsewhere and they've dried up and hardened, then you can just use a little bit of vinegar with water and it'll clean it right up. I ask her to poop. Can you poop? Poop. Yay! Good girl! And then I give her a treat. And the bigger your bird, the bigger the poops. And in the morning, they always have their largest droppings. So you just wanna make sure that they do that in the cage or you can train them to do it like over the toilet or over the sink. Next one is that they are messy. Birds are very, very messy. And they love to be messy and create a mess, but this is just natural for them. They like to explore and have fun and they are also really messy eaters. In many cases, you're probably going to need to vacuum or sweep up around your bird's cage every single day. Birds are also loud pets. It is normal for them to be vocal and they will likely be vocal every single day. Sometimes they might scream, sometimes it might be cute little chirps, but they will make noise every single day. And there are many reasons why birds make noise. Sometimes they make noise at sunrise and sunset, other times when they're excited, other times when they're fearful, sometimes they're contact calling you or maybe they see something outside. Sometimes there's something that they don't like in the area that they're in or in their environment and so they'll scream, but just be prepared that your bird is going to be loud. Shouting at your bird when they are noisy will only make things worse because now you are training them to be noisy. They are happy about the attention, even a bad one. Anything is better than being ignored in their point of view. You have to make time for training and attention. Birds love getting attention and they're much happier when they spend time with their flock and you are basically their flock. If you bring home a bird that's already tame, you can be sure a lot of time and effort went into shaping its personality and to maintain the fruits of that labor or to tame an unsocialized bird, you must handle and interact with your bird daily multiple times a day to maintain their mental and physical health. Aside from that, 
There's also cage cleaning, feeding a healthy diet with fresh foods. So all of this takes time every day. Having a parrot is like having a toddler that just never grows up. They need constant attention, time, stimulation, lots of toys. They make a mess and they don't clean up. They might need to be potty trained and they can also wake you up early in the morning. Which brings me to my next point. If you like to sleep in, you're not gonna be able to do that when you've got a parrot unless you adjust them to your schedule. I've talked about a sleep schedule in my sleep video, so you can check that out. But normally, birds will sleep from sunset to sunrise, and when they're finished sleeping in the morning, they might get noisy to try and let you know that I am up, I am ready for the day, I want my breakfast, I'm pooping, let's go, let's get this day morning, party started. Yeah. If you don't cover your bird's cage with a light blocking cloth or put them in a completely dark room where no light comes in, Birds will wake up with the sun, and even if you do cover them, they'll usually wake up once they start hearing noises, like outdoor birds, or if you're getting ready, or making coffee, etc. They are ready to start their days bright and early, and will expect you to do the same. Your bird will need fresh food and water soon after waking up, along with some play and socialization. Which brings me to socialization. You are your bird's flock or all of the humans living in your home or any other birds are your bird's flock. And so they need socialization every single day because they are really social creatures. They're going to also depend on their flock to do certain things for them like grooming their head and their neck because those are areas that they can't reach. You should never groom and scritch pin feathers in areas where your bird can reach because that will cause them to either get angered or hormonal. In the beginning, this may seem a little bit strange, but over time, I promise you will get used to it. Having something flying at you or just flying around you, landing on your head, landing on your shoulder. And yeah, the first time that mango flew at me, I was like ducking but over time you get used to your bird flying over to you. It's like being a modern day pirate, walking around with a cute little parrot or parrots on your shoulders. Getting a bird or multiple birds might also mean that you are going to travel less because I will tell you that it is a lot more difficult to get a pet sitter for parrots than it is for a dog or even a cat. And if you love to travel and you're a traveler, then this might not be the best idea. Unless, of course, you have family and friends who love birds and are willing to babysit for you. Parrots are also destructive. They love to destroy and that's why they have such strong beaks. They use their beaks to destroy anything and everything that they can. That's why it's important to have lots of toys and bird stands with toys and areas for them in your home where they can destroy things without getting into trouble. You're gonna need to bird proof your home because there's a lot of things that you don't want them getting their beaks into and they are really curious, so they will try. If your bird doesn't have proper training, time, attention, and socialization, they can develop bad behaviors like aggression, biting, screaming, and things that we just don't wanna experience with our pet birds. They may randomly decide to attack you when they don't like something. I've had Mia attack my hands before when she didn't like my nail polish color. Sometimes she also has issues with markers or other things that she just doesn't like. And we just have to understand that there are going to be things My that our birds don't there. like and they may react by attacking us or biting us. And that is part of having a parrot. So that's what it's really like to have a bird. But aside from all of those, there's a lot of cute, sweet, and funny moments that make it all worth it and will melt your heart. 
With a companion bird, you can share meal times, you can share showers, and you can also have a pet that actually talks back to you. Having a pet bird is a huge risk responsibility. We need to really understand their behaviors and it's a long-term commitment as they can live 25 to 30 years as Conyers and even more with bigger birds. So that's it for today, my poodle and parrot pals. I hope that this video was helpful for you in deciding whether a pet bird is the right pet for you. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.